it's Lego P3 with another custom minifigure showcase here and today I have my custom 2002 Spider-Man from the original movie. Um, so this is heavily inspired from the Moose figs. Um, one of his new customs was a Spider-Man just like this. So I saw his video and I really liked his custom so I decided to make my own. So here he is and let's get into the review. So here's Spider-Man. I really like how this figure came out overall. Um, as you can see there's quite a bit of detail on him. Um, definitely the hardest part of this figure was the webbing, so that goes all the way around the it's all over, so, but I really like how it came out, I used a dark gray for all the webbing, um, so yeah, um, so you can see with his boots, I painted on his, um, red boots, so that goes around all four sides, and then I had to paint the webbing, um, which I think came out pretty good, um, so yeah. Um, for the torso, you can see there's definitely a lot of webbing. Um, the belt goes on from the torso and like the hip piece for the legs. So I really like how the belt came out and all the red on the torso and everything. I really think I got the shape about right. Um, the spider in the center I think came out pretty good. Um, I, yeah, I don't think I could have done it much better. I think it really came out good. Um, all the webbing, as I said, I think is really good. Um, the back of the torso, I think, has got a lot of detail. Um, yeah, so the belt also continues on to the back. Um, I like how that came out with all the more webbing and everything. Um, yeah, and then the, sp the spider on the back, the red spider, I really, th I think I prefer this spider, how this one came out, um, over the one on the front. I just really like how this one came out on the back. Um, so yeah. Um, you can see the arms have a lot of webbing throughout them. Um, this figure really took a long time to make, probably one of the longest ones, I think. Um, but I really like how it came out in the end. Um, you can see a lot of webbing on the arms and some red paint. Um, so it was a dark blue base, so all the red pretty much on this figure was painted. But the dark blue I didn't really paint. Um, the other arm, you can see it's got some more webbing. I really like how that came out. Um, I just used the re regular Lego red hands, I mean, um, just to match these gloves. Um, I didn't bother painting the hands just because I didn't think it was necessary, but for the helmet, this was actually like a classic space helmet, like the one uh, Benny wears from the Lego movie, except for it wasn't actually a Benny helmet because his is a little bit damaged, like it, it comes damaged and everything, so I had to use like a regular space helmet. Um, it was actually red already, but I had to repaint it red. Um, on the front, I had to sculpt in the hole on the front, and then I sanded it down and everything. Um, and then, I, obviously, I painted it all, and I painted all the webbing. I really like how the webbing came out all over the mask. Um, I really like, think it came out pretty good. Um, you can see I sculpted on the eyes um, with green stuff and everything. So that was sculpted on, and I painted it. I really like how the eyes came out. Um, the webbing on the mask definitely took the longest, I think, but I really like how it came out. Um, on the front, I think it looks pretty good. Um, it took quite a few attempts, but in the end, I really like it. So that's about it for this figure. Other than when I, I do have a face under here, it's just a regular face, and I can give him this hair piece if I want. But yeah, so that's about it for this figure, so let's conclude the video. So that's about it for my custom 2002 Spider-Man figure. Um, if you like this figure and the video, be sure to give the video a like, um, comment down below what you thought of this figure, and subscribe to my channel for more custom minifigures. I have one more figure that's already done, so I, my, that video should be coming out sometime soon. So that's about it, and I'll see you guys next time.